Okay, and also from the Tennessee Volunteers, although they came into U U USC and Gaynor Center looking for a win, it was denied. SC really uh, was just on fire today, and uh, they they had the better hand. But joining us here, speaking about his experience now as a collegiate in Division One, Ronaldo Woolridge, and uh, Ronaldo, welcome to the program. Hi, right, thanks for having me here. Ronaldo, there's a lot of history here um, for you as a as a player. Of course, you you grew up here locally, high school, Harvard, Westlake. Yes, sir. Your experiences as a as a high school player, and then how did the recruiting process turn out for you to go to Tennessee? Um, you know, USC was actually one of the schools that were recruiting me, and um, it was a tough choice. But you know, I chose to do my own thing and, and fly my wings and be an you know, individual, go out to Knoxville, Tennessee. You know, I'm at the University of Tennessee, and um, you know, a great program as well. So you know, they, they got the better hand. USC is a great program, and. Um, you know, I think it was it was a hard fight battle. And Coach Bruce Pearl again, a tradition in the Southeastern Conference, but being SEC, he's well known, and of course, uh, he deserves a lot of the credit for turning this program around. But uh, this is a very young team still. Oh yeah, we're we're young. I mean, even on paper, you know, you might see a few seniors and juniors, but they're also transfers. You know, they transfer from other programs in here, so we're all new together. But at the same time, we're still working together to to make sure we achieve our our goal. You know, just winning. Now, in the recruiting process, uh, were you able to go back uh, for some visits to, to, to see the campus and everything? Yeah, you know, I, I started off at USC, you know, went here, and then I went to Knoxville, Tennessee, to Tennessee, and I went to Georgetown as well mm -hmm. in D.C. So uh, those are my main three that I went to. And, you know, I got you know, all different regions of the country and different aspects. So, uh, yes. yeah. And, of course, uh, your father uh, guiding you as he should, oh, a father taking care of the son and yeah. pointing him in the right direction. As they say, the basketball um, uh, genes, the basketball, culture a uh, part of your family is big time because uh, your father's experience as a as a, a collegiate at Notre Dame yeah and then of course into the NBA 13 years and definitely having a father who, who played in the in the league is, is advantageous just because of you know the different pointers and tips he can give me um, his path was similar to mine you know as he started off in college he didn't play very much and as he got older you know he was patient with his body it caught up to him and he grew a lot quick and and so I kind of look at his path and what he did and, and just be patient and keep working hard and wait my turn and of course just speak one more time about your father Father with the career he had playing for the Lakers here. Oh yeah, in L.A. You know that's why I ended up here, and you know I love L.A. The Lakers. Uh, okay, Ronaldo, let's talk a little bit now about uh, uh, the boost you needed from that high school program, Harvard Westlake, the Wolverines. Still a very dominant program here in Southern Cal. Uh, maybe not as as it once once before. Maybe in the top 25, 30 teams. But uh, any connectivity with Coach Hillier? Do you get a chance oh, to yeah. speak to the coach? Yeah, here? I talk to Coach Hillier all the time. Um, you know, as far as being in college and, and knowing what to expect you know he talks of course to Alex you know who, who plays at USC was my teammate in high school um, and then as far as them you know my sister still goes to school she's a junior and and uh, some of my teammates who were freshmen when I when I was a senior you know they're seniors now and, and juniors now so I keep in contact with them and, and they're doing a great job and I'm proud of all of them and of course the Harvard Westlake tradition continues because they're able to attract some very good players oh, develop them uh, not only uh, sports wise and um, game wise but academically definitely definitely it demands a lot, you know, prepares us for the next level and the college level academically, um, off the court, and just as people. And so I was fortunate to go to a school like Harvard Westlake, as well as many other schools in LA, uh, uh, like that. So, Ronaldo, we can spend a lot of time here. We need a one on one with you, but we know you're in the middle of a flight back home, a team meeting possibly at the hotel, and then uh, you're going on to your next destination, which will be uh, Knoxville. Okay. Going back home. Back home for some games, uh, no more tournaments? Uh, no more tournaments, just one more game. I could come back for Christmas, and then we're back at it for uh, SEC play. Okay. Uh, you mentioned, uh, and I mentioned Alex Stevenson as well. He gave you a lot of um, props when we spoke to him in, the, in their locker room uh, because I brought that up. I said that was a game within the game. Yeah. The two Harvard Westlake alumni playing and going at each other here in, in this uh, Galen Center. That had to be a very, very big thrill for those folks that kn knew you and, and saw your careers and saw you grow as young men. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. Um, being able to play against Alex was amazing, especially, you know, when I was, when he was a senior, I was a sophomore just learning and I was ready to play his position once. He, he moved on and he always you know gave me pointers and we worked out together all the time and I, I followed him in North Carolina and then coming here and uh, just the opportunity to be able to play with him and like even in the game he was talking to me giving me pointers so you know he's like a big brother to me so it was cool. Now we're going to leave our viewers here with a chance to catch you uh, your other work when you do a more creative inspirational spiritual side of you comes out through your music Yes, sir. and um, you're into heavy, I, I can't say heavy into your music but obviously it's into the rap music yeah. the rap uh, genre and 
and, and you have a lot of messages that are that are going out. And how can our viewers uh, follow you? Can is there a way? Um, definitely. If you go to um, YouTube.com and you search Swiper Boy, S W I P E R B O Y, just one word, uh, you'll see all the music I put out. You know, it's written and produced by myself, um, and it's it's just a lot of things. I have a lot of songs about. Um, you know, our team, you know, other teams and players. I one about Brandon Jennings and my homie. Uh, just a lot of people, but my most recent one is called Tip Off College Hoops Time, and it's about, um, you know, college basketball, just an anthem, you know, from a college basketball player's perspective. So. Okay, and again, we can catch all that on YouTube. On uh, YouTube or, or Google. You can follow me on Twitter.com backslash Swiperboy, all that. You can find it all there. Okay. Well, you are certainly in the prime of life. We want to wish you continued success in whatever endeavor you do, whether it's a professional basketball player or a music teacher. Yeah. Whatever your, your choice may be, yes, we sir. want to wish you the best and get you a good a good start on things in life. Thank you. Thank you, Ronaldo. Okay. It. Thank and good you. luck to you. All right, there he is, Ronaldo Woolridge. Okay.